Cobra Candy. I mean, there we go. Um, and we're live. Um, sorry about the lateness, everybody. Um, with, and it'll soon be explained here momentarily. Uh, actually, we're early for what I said I was going to do. I said I was going to do it at 8.15. Uh, or what I ultimately said I was going to do. I ultimately said I was going to do 8.15. Or a little earlier than that. Uh, hey, Daria. Hey, Roxy. Welcome in to this Mountain Dew Monday. Um, late edition. Late pissed off about snow edition as I go to take some Excedrin because my head is killing me. The video paused. Crap. Uh, let me know if it comes back. Hopefully it comes back. Looks like it looks okay on my end. Looks okay on my end. Um, but, uh, hello. Um, and hello, Kathy, on the Facebook side of things. Um, are we having problems on Periscope? If we're having problems on Periscope, I need to know that now. Because I'm really hoping we're not. Um. <laughs> Corey, what's up, man? That makes two of us, bruh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I think we're good. Okay. So. Let me explain, and Corey and Daria, you already know why I'm pissed off about snow. But let me explain for anyone else that's viewing this. Uh, and I'm sorry about the light. It's going to have to stay on because I can't see otherwise. Um, so, the reason that the snow has pissed me off so fucking bad today <sighs> is because, quite frankly, the city of Florence... And the people in Florence have dropped the ball entirely. My street still has ice on it. Still. As of this evening. My street still has ice on it. In a quite a few spots, quite frankly. And that pisses me off. Then, you got the people in this town that for no particular reason whatsoever... Refuse to, uh, yes I am, but, the people in the city of Florence, let me finish my thought before I get off track here. The people in this city of Florence refuse, flat refuse, to do anything, okay, I'm not in the mood for that shit, so, blocked. There you go. So, sorry about that. Anyway, the people in this town, I Main Street is icy and snow covered in a lot of places tonight. And we're getting another one to two inches of snow for tomorrow. And I have not even looked at the latest data sets. And, Corey, I'm calling this on the fly here. I'm going to take a look. Um, I have to fire up the, uh, the old desktop. Um, but, yeah, we're getting another one to two inches of snow for tomorrow. And I'm not ready for it. I was not ready for this one. I'm not ready for that one. I'm not ready for any more snow. I'm done with it. I'm over it because I'm over people not taking some initiative. People like myself who use wheelchairs need to be able to get around in this shit. We need to be able to get around and go about our daily lives. And the fact that sidewalks and streets in this town still have ice on them, let alone snow, that has me, that has me pissed off. 
So, um, yeah. And I, you know, I meant to do this earlier. I meant to do this at 540. I, unfortunately, I had to do a clothing change in downtown at 230, so I couldn't do it then. And I meant to do this at 540, but my normal broadcasting spot when I do Mountain Dew Monday downtown was not available to me because there was a crane and, or not a crane, a scissor lift. Well, I guess there was a crane too, but there was a, there was a scissor lift there and I didn't feel like being underneath of all that heavy equipment and having to deal with that. So I didn't. Um, then I went to the library and I, you, you know, no, I, I'm sorry, but with this angry as I am, I knew at some point I was going to have to explode in rage. And can you hear this? Quiet! <sighs> and people wonder why I'm doing what I'm doing coming up in the next few weeks. <sighs> yeah. Long and short of it, I'm making a move. Uh, and it's, I'm, I'm just done. <sighs> I'm just done. I'm just over this. I'm just over all the stress and all the bullshit. So there you go. You want to know why I'm stressed out? Things like that. Things like what I had to deal with today in a microcosm, that is why. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to take a look at this data. Uh, Corey, if you're still watching on Facebook, chime in if, you, if, if there's anything I need to see. I'm just going to go through 48. Yeah, it certainly is looking like it's going to be a one to two inch event. Keeping in mind that it's coming out of the northwest, which normally events out of the northwest, uh, they don't bring a lot of moisture and consequently they also don't bring a lot of snow to Cincinnati. Um, and so at least from this model I'm looking at, yeah, it's probably only a one inch event. Having said that, I need to look at the other major data set. Hold on. Uh, i got to look at 12Z. Taking into account that it is the 12Z. Same idea. Okay. So, uh, for those of you on Facebook, I'm going to encourage you to do something. If you don't already, please go over to Severe Weather Concepts on Facebook and please give us a like. We need likes um, and we'll be updating the snow. I'll be updating the snow situation throughout. We already have a winter weather advisory in effect for one to two inches. And judging by what I see on the models, that is probably going to play out in that fashion. Let's see here now. Let's look at the SREF. Um, wow. Um, I really don't even know what to say about that. Um, yeah, basically, yeah, it's looking the same thing here. Uh, these kids are driving me crazy. <sighs> but as I look, yeah, it seems like it seems like one inch is one to two inches is probably going to be the best bet. And honestly, honestly, 
what I see is making me want to lean more towards the one inch end. Snow covered streets are an issue in Erlanger and Ellsman, too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kathy, for that piece of information. Um, needless to say, yeah. And, and it's going to get worse. I mean, it's going to be worse tomorrow. Um, needless to say, I, a lot of the schools that had delays today, um, because of snow, I, I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that we're going to see most schools... Most of the schools across Cincinnati Tri-State are going to be closed tomorrow. Um, simply put, the, the situation I see is just one where, um, you know, we're going to be dealing with, um, we are going to deal with, um, okay, yeah, there we go. Huh, interesting. I get a Facebook notification on that and then a Facebook notification over here. Okay. Uh, I'm on, the, again, Severe Weather Concepts on Facebook. If you don't already like us, please, please, please do. Especially if you live in the Cincinnati area. I'm just telling you. Um, I know Corey already does. I don't know who else does. Um, just out of curiosity, I well, I can't really look at that. I'll do this later. Anyway. Um, but, uh... Anyway. So. Um, snow, you know, one to two inches. I, I really don't think... Ordinarily, I don't think that the National Weather Service in Wilmington would issue for one or two inches... But the problem is, A, the streets... Hey, Molly! Molly, what's up? I see you. I see you over there on the Facebook side. Welcome in. You've never been here for a Mountain Dew Monday, have you? I don't think so. Um, anyway, um, and I'm just going over the snow, basically. I'm going over the snow situation for tomorrow. Um, basically, I, I, normally the National Weather Service would not issue for one to two inches of snow... But the problem is, A, it's coming during the morning commute, which is going to be huge. Which, it always causes causes major problems. Molly, you know this. Anybody that lives in Cincinnati basically knows this. B, this, the extreme cold that's going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, it was, it was, let's see, it's 24.3. That doesn't make sense. Okay, I got up to 26.8. I'm looking at my uh, weather station over here. And it got down to 8.6. Ouch. It was 24.3. It was 24.3 when I left. Sorry about the beeping. Um, it was 24.3 when I left this morning. Uh, take that for what you will. Anyway. Um, but. Uh, secondly, you're going to have the extreme cold to deal with later in the day. Uh, I mean, it's going to drop down to the teens, so, um, that causes issues. Three, you know, you've already, and again, we've already got streets in Florence, in Erlanger, Ellesmere, that are, that have a mess, you know, snow covered, and ice, and, you know, all that. It's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse tomorrow, so, you know... Bear in mind, as you go to work tomorrow, as you go to school tomorrow, if you live in the Cincinnati metro area, you know, take it slow. Go slow. Pack your patience, as my friend Molly would say. I know she's watching this. At least I believe she's watching this still. Um, you know, pack your patience. It's going to be a rough drive tomorrow. Bottom line. Allow extra time. You know, and again, school's... I would say a lot of them are going to be closed tomorrow just because of the timing. The timing is horrendous. The timing is horrendous for this snow event. Uh, you know, normally one to two inches wouldn't be a big deal, but again, it's coming during the morning commute. And you're going to have issues. You're going to have issues with that. No doubt about it. So bear that in mind.
Um, but let me get off the snow subject because it really ticked me off today. And if you missed my rant, go back to the beginning and watch this. Watch my rant. Um, and I'll, I'll be putting it on YouTube for the folks on the Periscope side later on in case they missed it. Um, folks that, uh, you know, on the Periscope side, if you missed any point of my broadcast, it's on Facebook and it's on your purple. Why are you purple, Daria? I'm just curious. Why are you purple? And for those on Facebook, by the way, Daria is my friend Gladys. You know, that's that's her nickname. So, um, a lot of people call me Jeremy. Well, everybody calls me Jeremy. That's my birth name. But, JMO, uh, check your Instagram. Okay. I, you know what? And, by the way, Instagram, I've made it private for now. And there's a very specific reason for that. I'm tired of the spam bots. And until somebody gets a hold of that, gets control of that problem, I, I, I just, I, I'm tired of porn bots, for lack of a better term, seeing my, uh, my Instagram posts, so. Oh, no, I got time. I got time. We're good. We're good. Uh, let's see. 16 minutes already. Jeez. Um. But yes, you're purple. Okay. Purple, 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 purple. Okay. Looking, 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 looking. Not seeing. Yet. Hold on. Uh. See if I got it. Oh! Oh, the purple hair. You know what? I saw that earlier. I saw that earlier. Okay. <laughs> Not my look, but hey. You know? If it suits you, then so be it. Hello, Leslie Runge. Welcome in. As I take another swig of my Mountain Dew. And yes, today it is regular Mountain Dew. Um, for very specific reasons. You see me in blue. I don't see myself coloring my hair any weird colors anytime soon. We'll just put it that way. Uh, <laughs> it's just not, you know, hair, weird hair colors, not for me. You know what happened the last time I tried to color my hair? No lie. And for those that haven't known me that long, you know, this was back 2007. Um, yeah, 2000, no, it was 2006. I think it was 2006. No, it was 07. It was 07, okay. But anyway, this was a few years ago. And I wanted to try and go blonde, just to see how it would look. Just to see if I'd look good with blonde. You, you think it was 07? I think so, too. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. Anyway, to, to tell the story here, because I only have about 12 minutes on Facebook uh, before I'd have to either restart the broadcast or just end the whole thing. But I tried to dye my hair, dye my hair blonde, and it didn't come out blonde. It came out orange. I looked like Carrot Top. <laughs> no joke, I looked like Carrot Top. I had orange hair. Yeah. And that that is why I will never dye my hair again. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. Um, but anyway, uh, how's, how was everybody else's day? Just out of sheer curiosity, because, I, uh, you know... My day was not good, uh, which is why blue is better, and, and I still can't see it. I'm sorry. I just what like like this kind of blue. This is a portable charger gimmick that I have for anyone wondering. 
Um, okay. Uh, yeah. It's, like I said, me, blue hair, I just can't see it. I'm 30 years old. I'll be 31 this year. I'm not ready. I'm not yet having a midlife crisis. I hope I don't. I hope I don't. But if I do, you may see me with, uh, make my eyes pop. Okay. That would seem, that would be a good reason to do it. Again, I, it's just, me dyeing my hair, again, not for me. Hey, what? Hey is for horses. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta, I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh. Uh, I gotta laugh. Um, you're not either. Not either what? Midlife crisis thing that I just said? I, and I didn't say you were. I didn't say you were, and I'm not saying anybody else is. I'm just saying, if I ever do, that might be the only time I could see myself doing that. But I'm not middle. I'm not in midlife crisis mode yet. Um, and I know nobody else watching this is. That's fine. Um, but that might be the only time I could see myself going with any kind of weird hair, hair color. Just to change things. I, it's just not for me. Anyway. So, how's how's everybody else doing? I know there's people watching on Facebook. I got four viewers. I got two viewers on the Periscope end of things. Hopefully that one guy I blocked is not one of them. I'm sorry, but if you're going to make a, a really crude joke, I'm just not going to deal with it today. I'm just not. Just, No. No, not after what I went through today, trying to get to my first strength training of the year. <sighs> and it literally was the first of the year. Um, I started that back up again. <sighs> but I hope everybody else had a, uh, had a good day. Hey, Bethany. Hope everybody else had a good day. Even though my day was complete crap with everything I had to deal with, it is what it is. Uh, Emily, Emily Grush. Hello, Emily. Welcome in. Uh, thoughts on David Bowie? Great question. Uh, and hey, Bethany. Um, my thoughts on David Bowie. He was, he's, he's, he was a great musician. A lot of his hits, unfortunately, came before my time, um, and so, uh, I'm not really, I, I did hear one, uh, sample of his music earlier today, uh, I forget what song it was, but I was listening to a podcast, uh, because my phone was nearly dead, and my iPod was not, uh, hello, Stoney, um, but, uh, but, you know, vastly, vastly talented guy. And this world's going to miss him. No question about that. One of the most talented musicians of our time. And he's going to be missed. Uh, there's no way around it. Um, I got, let's see. And, and by the way, the reason I'm leaning over here. Or is it this way? It's this way on my screen. Uh, is to see how long I have on Facebook before I have to either end the broadcast entirely or just start a new one on Facebook to continue this discussion. Um, cause I, and I only have about six minutes. Um, and plus, we're going to eat soon. Um, there's food in the oven as I speak, so, it, you know, that's probably going to be a... That's going to be a thing in a little bit. I think we're having tuna noodle casserole which ordinarily I don't like because I don't like peas. That's my thing. But, uh, you know, um, I, I never have, to be honest. Never have, uh, liked peas. But, uh, the, uh, but yeah, there's food in the oven, so we're gonna eat soon. Uh, and I need to eat something because I haven't eaten all day, except for two Cliff Bars, and, yeah, that's just not gonna cut it. It's not going to cut it, um, even with my, um, 
it, it's just not going to cut it. Anyway, um, Bethany, how was your day? I, I saw you come in and, you know, uh, I'm sure it was crazy. Interesting. Interesting PayPal notice of class action settlement. Uh, if you use PayPal, keep an eye out for that. Uh, especially if you've used it in the last nine years. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, basically, you know, it was, it was a bad day. I'm finally home. I'm warm. I'm in my house. Well, what is my house now? Um, and I'm relaxing, basically, and that's it. Um, at least trying to. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I was supposed to have a meeting for work, got canceled, did a lot of cleaning. That, that sounds like a... Sounds like a crazy kind of... Or actually, not crazy, but it sounds like a... Not a horrible day, but not a great day. Um... And on the Facebook side, I'm sorry, but uh, we've got about three minutes. Uh, well, less than four minutes left. Uh, almost three, about three and a half minutes left on the live video on Facebook. Now, if you're on Facebook, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something I don't normally do. Okay? We're going to do a second. Yeah, just another Manic Monday. Exactly. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do another part on Facebook. So if you're with me on Facebook, stay put. Or keep an eye on your notifications. Because I will be back on the Facebook side momentarily. Uh, after, uh, I will be back on the Facebook side uh, shortly after this uh, edition ends. Or this uh, part ends. Hey, Tay. Um... Because we're gonna, I'm gonna continue this discussion because I've, I just need to, I just need to vent. I just need to vent about my day uh, because it was bad. It was just bad <sighs> because I don't like snow. <sighs> I don't like dealing with it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because people don't shovel their sidewalks and it really ticks me off. <sighs> Why do I not like snow? I don't like snow because people don't shovel around here. Uh, there's, there's supposed to be a law against it, and or against leaving the snow on the sidewalks, and either there is and it's not enforced, or there just isn't a law, and it just ticks me off, especially in Florence. People in Florence know better. Now, I will say this. Cincinnati is getting better. Cincinnati is getting better. Uh, and for the Facebook folks, I will be back. Uh, again, Facebook folks, I will be back. We dual cast. Uh, for those of you on Periscope that are just with me on Periscope, too bad there's no snow tires for chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that, Daria. Um, again, uh, we dual cast. We're on Periscope and we're on Facebook. So, for those of you on Periscope, you're still going to be with me throughout this whole process that I've got to do. Because I've got to jump over. i got to grab my uh, device over here. My left hand device, the one that's on my left. i got to, I got to grab that. i got to uh, end that broadcast and start a new one. So for those of you on Facebook, Facebook, stay put. Keep an eye on your notifications at the top right. Stay put. I will be back in just a couple minutes. Um, as I grab my... As I grab this. Uh, stay put. We'll be back momentarily. Uh, Periscope, you're going to have to bear with me for just a minute while I do this here. So, stay put, Facebook. I'll be right back with you in about eh, a minute and a half, two minutes. Something like that. All right.
more Mountain Dew Monday. Connecting and go live. Three, two, one. Okay, and we're back. We're back on the Facebook side. Periscope, you're going to have to bear with me for just another second or two while I move things. There we go. There we go. Now we're set up. Uh, and uh, sorry about that uh, on the Periscope side. We're back on Facebook. Uh, Facebook, we're back. Sorry about that. Telephone 9, welcome in. Uh, for those of you on Facebook, by the way, that are just tuning in, or retuning in, as it were, um, when I mention a screen name, it's on Periscope. It's not you. It's Periscope. When I mention a real name, that's on Facebook, not Periscope. So, you know, um... But we dual cast. I wanted to reach as many people as possible, as many of my friends as possible, therefore, the dual cast. Um, so there you go. <sighs> anyway, but we are back. We are back. Sorry about that. Uh, well, I had, to, I had to deal with that, uh, that reset. I had to do the reset gimmick, Schnabitz. Um, I'm going to mark all his red on that. Alright, anyway, we are back, though, uh, and again, I will apologize that for a couple minutes I wasn't responding on face on Periscope, you have to bear with me because, you know, I kind of had to do it, kind of had to do what I had to do, <sighs> but we're back, and yes, I am still wearing my, ba I am wearing Bengals shirt today, uh, Although I'd rather not talk about the game. Let me just say this. For the record. Adam Jones and Vontez Perfect. Screwed us. For lack of a better term. We had the game won. My heart was pounding. I was feeling anxious. Any news on that? Um, well. It's funny you ask that, Daria. Um... Because Marvin Lewis held his end-of-year, end-of-season press conference this afternoon. And according to him, and again, this is according to him, so take it for what it's worth. But according to Marvin Lewis, apparently the players are, apparently both Jones and Burfecht were said to be teary and upset over their actions. And they should be. Um, they absolutely should be. Because they they screwed the team, basically. Uh, having said that, um, you know, I... Jones is a free agent next year. Um, and while I would not be surprised to see the Bengals re-sign him, I want to see maturity. I want to see maturity from him, and uh, until I see that, I don't feel really comfortable having him back on the Bengals squad. I just, you know, because as long as you're immature and you act immature, I'm sorry, but you have no place on this team. You just don't. Uh, and that's just how I feel about it. But uh, yeah, so that that's the that's the latest on that. Um, and now there's a petition going around that the NFL to get the NFL to investigate the game. I'm not going to sign it because the result is the result. It is what it is. It's not going to be changed. It's just it's not going to be changed. There's nothing I can do or say or anybody else can do or say to change the result of the game into the Bengals' favor. Having said that, I can understand where a lot of anger is coming from because I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Joey Porter needs to be suspended and or canned. Fired. Done. 
because he violated a rule. He did violate a rule that says, basically, you're not supposed to be on the field. The coaches are not supposed to be on the field. Period. From the first whistle to the final gun, the coaches should not be on the field. And Porter was. Porter was. He violated an obvious rule, therefore, he needs to be punished. And it needs to be a suspension, or the Steelers could terminate him. I, and, you know, at this point, I could care less, uh, which happens. However, having said that, knowing, knowing what they do, or knowing what I know uh, about the Steelers, and I'm sorry, any Steeler fans watching this, but uh, knowing what I know about them, I, I don't see them firing Porter. I just don't. Uh, I got a link. Ooh! Okay, I, had, I hadn't seen this yet. Gladys, thanks for that. Uh, apparently, the NFL has announced that Vontez Burfecht will be suspended for the first three games of the regular season in 2016. Uh, and this is breaking news to me. Apparently this just came across. That's big. That's big. That's a big, big deal. Suspended for repeated violations of player safety rules, and a source told ESPN's Adam Kaplan that Perfect will appeal. If I'm Perfect, if I'm Perfect, I don't appeal that. I'm sorry. You take your medicine. You take your medicine as it's given to you. That's it. That that's that's it. That's it. I'm just that's it. You take your medicine and you deal with the you deal with the consequences for your actions. Look. Okay? I'm a Bengals fan. Again, I'm wearing the shirt today. This is this is a shirt I got for Christmas, by the way. I, I'm a Bengals fan. Born and bred and by God. I will be a Bengals fan until the day I die. Hopefully not anytime soon. Knock on wood. Um, but that was a bad hit. That was a bad hit. Brown couldn't catch the pass. Didn't catch the pass. And Perfect hit him. Perfect hit him. And Antonio Brown couldn't catch the pass. And now Brown is in concussion protocol. I don't like the Steelers. I hate the Steelers. I, and I hate them with a passion. But that was a defenseless receiver. You know? And having said that, I'm... If you... If Perfect is going to be penalized for his hit on Brown. I want to see the guy that laid the hit on Gio Bernard also be penalized. Uh, or, uh, you know, fined or suspended or something for that. Because that was a bad hit, too. It was. That was a bad hit. Sorry, not Sorry. But it was. It was a bad hit. It was a dirty hit. I don't care. You know? Show me evidence to the contrary. And I may believe it. Actually, if it's conclusive evidence to the contrary... Hello, Jessica. If it's conclusive evidence to the contrary that the hit on Bernard was not a dirty hit then by all means, you know, I'll I'll probably agree with it. But in the absence of conclusive evidence, that was a dirty hit on Gio Bernard and it took him out. It took him out of the game. 
it, it's just not good. Uh, it's just not a good look for the NFL. Uh, if they don't, uh, if they don't, uh, do something about the guy that hit Geo. Uh, I gotta look here out of curiosity in HQ. Uh, um, and I'm, I'm looking at something here on, uh, ESPN. Whoops, hold on, I gotta, gotta hit this, sorry, uh, if you, if you heard that, sorry, um, well, I'm not really able to see here, alright, um, and again, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to look here at, uh, Trying to look and see about uh, any any of the news on Geo. Um, Bernard, uh, Bernard just you know uh, he took a bad hit. That that was a bad hit on him. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna install updates on that. Sorry. Um, by the way, Mike Munchat also should have been or should be fined or suspended because he directly interfered with the play. There there it is. Giovanni Bernard. I'm gonna check and see. Uh Ryan she's here. That's right. That's right. I hate that guy. That was a dirty hit from Shay's ear. And until I, until and unless I see evidence to the contrary, I'm, I'm going to, all I'm going to believe until I see evidence to the contrary that that was a dirty hit. I, I can't, you know, I just can't. <sighs> but anyway, yeah, I, I just had to, I just had to talk about it because that frustrated me. That really did earlier this week. Or rather, over the weekend. Over the weekend, that really ticked me off. Um, and I even tweeted yesterday, I said, look, you know, Gia, or, uh, Vontez and Adam Jones, Vontez Perfect, Adam Jones, you know, they screwed up. They screwed up, plain and simple. I, I was, I couldn't be more pissed off about that. Actually, I probably could. But, uh, you know, it is what it is at this point. Uh, there's really nothing I can do about it. I just have to deal. Uh, and I'm dealing, but it's going to take me a while. It's going to take me a while. Um, I'm going to look here at my Twitter feed. I'm, to, I, I'm looking to see exactly what I tweeted yesterday. Because I... There we go. I got it. Right in front of me. They need to line... Bo they need to find both of the steel coaches. Yeah, I agree. I agree. My, Mike Munchak and Joey Porter both need to be fined. Absolutely. You're not going to get any disagreement from me on that, Jessica. Um, but here's my tweet from yesterday. I'm sorry, but at King fifty five Tez and at Real Pac Man twenty four cost us that game with that last night with that set of penalties. Hope you woke up with some perspective. You know, we had it in hand. The game was won, and two head hotheads lost it for us. They did. They did. The two hotheads lost it. Lost the game for us. And then. I see, I saw Jeremy Hill's tweet saying, this one's on me. You know, this city, this organization deserves better. The only thing to do is continue to fight and come back stronger. To which I responded, hey, this is not on you. We still could have won this game even with that fumble. 
This is on 55 and 24. And it is. It is. Without those two penalties, the Steelers are deep, deep. You know, they're still in their own territory. And, you know, that's, that's all I can say about it. That's all I can say about it. Um, or about them. Yeah. Got those penalties, you know. So, the punishment to Vontaze, as far as I'm concerned, I'm good with it. Um, but, uh, yeah. I had to clear something out of my, out of my mouth. I don't know what it was. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know what, I've been on here for 45 minutes. Um, let me do this. I'm gonna, and I'm actually, whoops. Resume. Resume. There we go. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna do this, because, and my, uh, battery on one of my iPods just went down 20%. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to end this broadcast right here. Thank you all for joining me on this Mountain Dew Monday. If you missed it, it'll be on Facebook and on the Twitter later. Or it'll be on Facebook. Or no, it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. I have time tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere because of the snow. So, I have time. I'll edit this tonight. I'll edit this tomorrow. Get it up. ASAP. Thank you all for joining me. Take care, everybody. I will see you soon. Uh, probably next Monday. In fact, it will be next Monday. See you then. 2.30. Okay, and...